Oh, it's a bit dark. Oh, pizza. There we go. Okay. Negative to negative. Positive to positive. Not the other way around. <laughs> I could get nasty. Oh, it's too flat. Must be under two volts. All right, give it a second. Hello and welcome back to part two on turning a Hyundai into a rally car. So, currently if you watched part one, you would have seen this car, which is a 2000 Hyundai, Hyundai XL that we bought off auction for $140. If you haven't seen part one, part one is just up there or at the end of this video, but don't leave just yet. There's gonna be a link right at the end. So sit back, relax and watch this one. And then after this ends, you can watch part one. Currently what's been done is the headline is gone. Currently I have a bypass wire that way we don't have to have the clutch in when we go to start the car. Currently, we also need to find the hose that goes down into the pillar and goes out to the firewall. Close that. Got a roll cage right here. That's just been painted that we're gonna put into this car. And behind, while well, you go. And off camera, what I done is I put on these nice Bridgestone Patanzas IE3 2.0Rs They're 185, 65, 14 inch It's a nice world champion wheels Fits perfectly yeah. Actually, let's give a little montage <laughs> Clutch pedal that way when you go to start the car, you don't have to have the clutch down. Okay, so using a 14 mil, get under there. It's the bolt, we should just slide right on out. Bit of wiggling. There we go, just like that. Just like that. What next? So the headline has just popped out. Now, just put all these bolts and nuts. In. Just like that. So I need some nuts. As for this. Holes. Should run down the pillars. Oh, got me. Man, right. how's it going? Oh, well, yeah. So, in case you don't know who this person is, this is Thomas, one of my good mates. Excuse me, oh. So he's part of the team. So here we go. Good job, mate. You know, it looked like a bit of a mess and it was like sticking in. Well, I appreciate it. Oh, good. Excel's leaking a bit. Yes. So we are. So once you got this, I got a little project for you to do. What is it? We gotta take off the back windscreen wiper thing. So after this, we'll have to button at the bottom, put some bolts on that foot rest and Oh, 
I need. Push button start. Headlights work. Whoa, 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 strike, strike, strike. I know, I can see it. Are you sure? Yes. Don't stall it. How are you on the other side? I'm right. good. Yep. Gotta straighten myself up. Let's go, mate. Good, thanks. Keep the door on the hinges. Shit, I think I left the key in there. Oh, good, it's in here. I was gonna say. <laughs> it looks like this thing has like 0.5 on it. Like I go and do this and, it, and you look just like really, your face looks super long. Alrighty, so this is day one finished of the Excel. Tomorrow we're gonna do an oil change. Finish the bit of the electrical work put it, some parts back together, do the um, exhaust, and I'm gonna try and get those brakes split. Okay, more fun and games coming here at the Xavi's channel. So stick around. See you later. <laughs>
That's as far back as it can go, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and that's what's the right level. Gotta go the other way. Mm. I mean, just think, have a look, all of us are struggling, like, we don't know where it go, it doesn't line up, it, everything's too short, and everything that's too big is too short, everything's too short is too big, it makes no sense. As you can see the bolt is in so we're doing both sides so hopefully it should start to come together we're gonna have to do voiceovers yeah. Yeah. at this point we now worked out how to do install it So that XL is fine, has made some progress today. A little bit of progress, not too much. So as you can see at the back, we're somewhat installed the roll cage. But right now our issue is this, it's maybe a little bit too long. Uh, this was for a single cam XL. This is a twin cam XL. So not sure if there's any body difference. If any of you guys are a bit of a XL, expert please let me know down in the comments as well as that we also made some progress to the starter as from yesterday Ugh. so what we did was nice steering wheel bit of horn then we bypassed the actual uh, steering wheel lock so that way you can drive it Use good old zip ties, a bolt, and a washer. Here's our starting system. It's a bit, it works. Let's just leave it at that. There's your ignition off on. There's your starter button right there. It works, that's all you need. There's your manual seat. We're gonna put like a checkered metal piece here. That way we can just mount it. That way, just beep. Uh, roof lining's gone as yesterday said. Didn't get much time as this roll cage really stuffed us up. Go, but yeah. Hopefully soon this will be ready for the Movicano. As far as that, so what next we need to do is we need to um, change the oil, change to bleed the brakes because the brakes are a bit. How are you going? Uh, finish this roll cage and install the exhaust 
after that we come in and part freeze episode of So that will be coming in part freeze coming in part freeze episode of turning a Hyundai into a rally car. This part two was pretty much, you know, starting to get the car ready, prepping it for motor for a motor car and race. Mm, the next race probably won't be in between July, so we still got a couple months left. But pretty much Yeah, there's nothing much left we can do. Except try and work out that roll cage yeah hopefully if you that's gonna be it a part two part three we're gonna be pretty much going further finishing that do all the mechanical side of it this is mainly the cosmetics of it so if you did like turning that Hyundai into a rally car please make sure you give it a good like and if any of you guys are a bit of an XL expert please let me know in the comments it will really help us my as most of the people I know that drive excels are only used to the single cam this is a twin cam so it's out of most people's leagues so yeah yeah until next time guys hopefully you enjoy this video stay safe and I'll catch you in the next one adios